each year on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, our country observes a two minute silence. Today, or Armistice Day, on the 11th of November, marks the end of the First World War and is a day to remember and honour those who have paid the ultimate price for our freedom. The silence is held in churches, in town halls and on streets on Remembrance Day because we wish to honour and remember those who have fought not only in world wars, but more than 12,000 British servicemen and women killed or injured since 1945. The war which was meant to end all wars has not done so. When evil forces are at work in the world, there are times when war can be justifiable as a last resort to stop such atrocities. So we remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of their country in the pursuit of freedom, justice and peace. We also inevitably remember those we love and from whom we are now parted. Jesus was clear in his teachings that he had conquered death and it should no longer hold any power over us. Jesus gave real hope with his promise of a kingdom yet to come. Jesus spoke in pictures about a time when there would be feasting and of laughter. That time to come would be different. The hungry would be filled and those who had been downtrodden would be freed. This gives us hope as we entrust to God those who have died. However, in his teachings, Jesus also made clear that real change must start to take place now in the hearts and minds of his followers. We therefore use this Remembrance Day to remind ourselves of our part in seeking to bring about the desperate need for change. So for Christians, this Remembrance Day is more than an act of remembrance. It's a promise that we will do our best to serve Christ by serving others in this cause of peace for the relief of want and suffering. By his Holy Spirit, may he give us wisdom, courage and hope to keep us faithful now and always.